After saving for years, Crystal Marie and Escaias McDaniels had more than enough money for a down payment on their dream home in Charlotte, North Carolina. They had very good credit and easily pre-qualified for a mortgage. But when they met to sign loan documents, their loan officer told them that the deal wouldn't close. He had submitted it 15 times and each one was rejected by an algorithm. A 2019 investigation found lenders using algorithms like these that were more likely to deny loans to people of color than to similar white applicants. The development of artificial intelligence technologies has accelerated over the years. One purported benefit of AI is in facilitating better decision making by reducing human subjectivity. But stories about bias and discrimination perpetuated by new AI tools, whether in finance, healthcare, policing, hire, and more, are becoming increasingly common. The risk of AI systems inheriting harmful biases is part of the growing conversation about AI safety. In 2017, Google CEO Sundar Pichai announced that the company would shift to an AI-first strategy and defined an ethical AI charter. There are a number of major challenges that Google and other AI-focused companies are facing. First, short-term corporate priorities can be at odds with ethics. The tech industry is fast-paced, prizing innovation and disruption. Ethics can entail slowing down and could therefore be considered at odds with being first to market. Prioritizing short-term profits over long-term excellence and customer trust risks serious reputational and legal consequences. Second, formal guidance to operationalize principles is lacking, and many companies with public commitments to responsible AI still exhibit uncertainty about roles, responsibilities, and processes. In day-to-day -day practice, it is hard to know when principles are violated. Next, focusing on the development of AI tools to fight ethical challenges misses the bigger picture. This focus perpetuates a mistaken concept that ethical challenges are design flaws that should be tackled largely by engineers as opposed to social scientists. When companies focus on technological solutions, they risk missing the broader picture of how AI can perpetuate existing discrimination and inequality. Additionally, a focus on individual behavior without broader cultural change is ineffective. There are often gaps between ethical intentions and ethical behavior in organizations. Ethics education that helps people operationalize AI principles are important, but have limited impact without broader organizational, operational, and cultural change. Lastly, fairness has many definitions. Within AI, researchers and practitioners often default to using mathematical approaches to define fairness. But this ignores complex social experiences that are hard to quantify. Product teams have to define what fairness means and how to measure it in their specific product context. To learn more, please read Responsible AI, Tackling Tech's Largest Corporate Governance Challenges by Kelly McElhaney and others in California Management Review, Berkeley Haas K-Series.